that I'm using today um, are all Impulse RC reverbs. This is my analog one, which is a 800 uh, milliwatt UFI on the KISS. And then this one is basically identical. They're all identical apart from the DJI one has uh, some slightly different motors. Um, other than that, they're, they're, they're pretty much the same. This one has um, HD0 1 watt VTX, freestyle VTX as they call it. Um, and then this has a Calyx Vista. In the building again. Getting a bit of break up. Obviously, it's not great. Out now into the main area. I'm now technically below where we are, so the signal's really, really bad. Um, right at the back, negotiating some bushes. Just following the path round. Signal's not too bad, actually down here at the very bottom, I guess, because we're kind of have probably some sort of line of sight. Coming up the path to our left now, just about to go behind a big pad of bricks. And just behind that little building over to our left. Some break up, but like it's going kind of between black and white and color, but totally flyable. Gonna come back around, um, go inside the building and see how it does in there. The thing about it is the, the, I mean the latency doesn't change with analog, so it feels exactly the same no matter where you are. It's just obviously the picture becomes significantly worse. Pictures uh, quality is certainly better than analog. Yeah, getting a bit of break up. I'd say that's better than my analog. At least in terms of being able to fly it, fly through it. The thing about HD Zero is you get the like rainbow flashes. Of static. So I'm gonna go down and then do the big circle. I'd say it's, it's maybe about 70%. Oh, got a full screen flash there. That was not good. Yeah, I find a bush that if I can go, when I go behind it, I get a full screen. Um, yeah, if DJI is a 10, HD0 is about a 7, and then analogs maybe 3 or 4. So, kind of down at the very back. Oh, this is bad, yeah. Alright, going behind this big pile of bricks now. Okay, so behind this kind of small building. Yeah. I'd say that's as, kind of generally speaking, as good or maybe a little bit better than my 800 milliwatt Unify. Um, the only thing is, is that whenever you get that occasional full screen kind of flash, it's, it's extremely disorientating. Um, Ooh. 
Whoa. Picture is obviously great. Yeah. Right down the back here. Oh yeah. So here, here was kind of where both HD zero and analog were really struggling, and I can feel it a wee bit. Funny, and I can see the in the screen it's, it says 40 milliseconds. But to be honest, um, I would take this even with the higher latency. Uh, in this point, if I was just doing like a fly through or something, um, this is better because I can I can see. It does feel a bit weird in places, but yeah, other times it's brilliant. Right, popping over the top here, slam down the side, again, image is great. Yeah, slam around this tree, no problem. Bit of a stutter. Control fees a wee bit washy, but you know, pliable for what we're doing. Here was the bit that I got like a full screen uh, rainbow on DJI. I think it was kind of just in here. Um, I mean, when you're flying slow, it's definitely flyable, but. On around the very right bottom. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's getting very, very blurry. But, yeah, it's still flyable. Behind here, I mean, there wasn't there wasn't that much breakup behind here, but I mean, it basically nothing with DJI. In the building itself, I kind of don't want to crash because I have the action, don't have the action to um, on anything. I mean, the, the penetration of this is just, like, <laughs> it's unmatched, like, without a doubt, there's just no comparison. And like, even here, where analog and the HD Zero are struggling, um, it's washy, but it's still easier to fly because it's got to the point where I can, I can actually see what I'm doing rather than so yeah, it's not a it's not a simple question about the latency, it's also about what you can see. I um, just finished playing another couple of packs with the HC01 watt freestyle. I had to ditch it a couple of times behind behind the building when I was standing the other side because Basically, once you fly into an area that's really, really bad, and if you're, you know, coming from somewhere you haven't been standing before and you don't know exactly where is good and where is not, the difference between it being good and being bad is extremely fast. And 
Um, with analog, you know, you're going to get that ghost of an image that you can pull out a lot easier. You can see the sky, you can see the ground, usually. Whereas with, with this, you're, you're still getting that full screen rainbow. And uh, the problem with that is you literally have no idea where you are or what you're doing. Um, you could punch up and hope for the best, but beside a road or you know something like that, I guess the first 70%, first 70, 80% penetration, you know, is, is great with HD0 compared to analog because you can see better, but that last little bit, um, I just don't have the same confidence on it because of the, the full screen um, rainbow effect.